Oh my god, oh my No, no, no. Dead out the air, dude. Damn. Oh, yeah. oh dead? Oh, dead? What's going on, everybody? I know a bunch of people want my settings. A couple different people from TikTok, a couple different people from YouTube. So, uh, I put one out a while ago, but obviously I've gained a couple more followers, a couple more subscribers, a couple more thousand views. So people want updated settings. I haven't really changed much, showing you guys everything that I changed, and I'm going to show you guys a couple new practicing tips that I've gained, because in the last video, I did show some practicing tips. They've gotten a little more advanced. Nothing crazy, just more specific. Show you guys both settings and uh, the best tips I can give you to improve quickly on controller. First off, I do play with stretch res. It doesn't say here, but it's in the game's files. Is if you go to your game settings, you make FOV 72, FOV 103. You do get a slightly stronger aim assist. Season does end in 10 or nine days. So I don't know if they will change that. The common knowledge to turn all these off these on default just for least amount of input delay settings i got auto run on this is on zero should be zero that's what i prefer vibration off if you still play with vibration on i suggest changing that all right so this sensitivity doesn't matter that's why it's grayed out build i have 2.0 edit is 2.1 uh, my editing is faster than my build a lot of people don't do that but i do like that um advanced options on so i got 45 45 zero everything down for at least amount of input delay off and then i have six and seven for my ads it's really really slow but i know that my ads sense or not sense my ads ability is horrible my aiming and tracking while ads is pretty bad I know someone with aim assist that's it should be better but um, it's more about long-range tags and shit I had a hard time getting those but yeah that really helped these are zero linear aim assist hundro dead zone five and nine it's just what I prefer that I would go with what you prefer to these should be low as possible off low low this is on, I have never touched this, I don't even know what this does to be honest. Off, zero, 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 and then on. Other than that, my binds, standard jump X, crouch, uh, I did change crouch to my right stick. My sprit is my left D-pad, I do play claw, shoot, tight, uh, ADS is normal. Reload is square, but also my crouching is square, and I'll, I'll explain that when we get down more. These are normal, RB, L1. Pickaxe is my left stick. My placement marker is up on D-pad. I don't have those bound. Change materials left. I think that's normal. Trap is right. I don't do that no more. Building is normal. Map is normal. Inventory up. Emote down. Squad to the right. Triangle is my builds pull out. Crouch is square as well. So I have two crouch buttons. Um, it just works well for me. Uh, especially since I play claw. I usually crouch with my right stick when I have to shoot people further and I don't gotta be quick with it. If I have to be quick with it, um, since I play claw, I can quickly click square. Um, yeah, the rest is normal. Uh, edit button is O. And that's it. Everything else is normal. Alright. Let me show y'all some things that I did for a while to help me practice. A lot of people enjoy my editing on controller, my editing. Um, so, yeah. I guess my editing my and my mechanics are what shine. I'm going to show y'all what I do to get my editing consistent and fast um, and how I did it quickly All right. so I'm not warm so this might be a little scuffed but one of the things I like to do when I first get in first get in I'll free build for a little it won't be the prettiest thing I'll do it slow on purpose like I'll confirm these edits slow 
I'll get my mess ups out the way. But it like helps me uh, figure out if today's gonna be a good day or not. To do, it helps me work on my my movement and also my crosshair placement. I'll put a cone and two floors and I'll edit the top lefts or top rights while also moving in the direction I wanna move. Because when you're going over and edit like this, you have to move all the way to the back. So if you can complete the edit and get through, it helps practice with both. Just a drill to warm my, uh, my fingers up, my crosshair placement, and my movement. Movement's a big thing on getting good on controller. We have 360 movement, we gotta take advantage of it, so my controller. Another one, it's very simple, but that's what this video is about, is simple improvements. Is just a ramp forward and then a wall edit. And a lot of people, they'll get the ramp edit, confirm it, like already walking up the ramp. You wanna get to a point so you can confirm it without even touching the ramp. Usually after I get warm, I can do it pretty consistently. And then it helps your, your crosshair placement. Edit before you touch the ramp. Like walk on it physically. You're gonna do it before you walk on it physically. Another warm up thing that I like to do, a lot of people have seen this before because someone on TikTok popularized it. So you're gonna wanna do just like the cone thing earlier, just out to the right, and then do the same peanut butter edits but with ramps. Plus the most safest. Yeah, crosshair placement and movement drills. Those are three things that I do. I guess another tip that I can give is just even though you're on controller, warm your aim and tracking up. Crosshair placements, everything when you're editing, that's how you get faster. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and share.